Hello and welcome to another rust removal video or test. I think we'll call it a test. Uh, I've been doing a few videos over the past few weeks if you've been following my channel on cleaning rusty tools up, uh, restorations, that type of thing. Uh, so obviously I've been getting loads of comments on better ways to clean rust. Uh, some of them are coming out with uh, more expensive options, you know, the proper rust removal stuff, which is fine. But I wanted to do a sort of test of a stuff you could get from a supermarket, you know, no expense spared, that type of thing. So I've gone for vinegar, which is I think 26 pence a bottle, something like that. Lime juice, or lemon juice, uh, which was 65 pence a bottle. Uh, white vinegar, pound a bottle. Cheapest coal I could find. Uh, the dearest one was drain cleaner, which somebody suggested. Not sure if that's going to work, but I'll definitely give it a whirl. That was about £3 a bottle, I think. And electrolysis with just a standard battery charger. Uh, and I think it's baking soda or bicarbonate soda. Can't remember, I'll have to check on that one. Uh, so obviously, like I said, there's no expense been spared on this experiment. <coughs> so I've gathered uh, a lot of rusty tools up again. Uh, and we're going to dip I'm only going to sit them in halfway so you get a line and we can see exactly how much what's fetched off where and uh, see how scientific I can be mm. there's a good chance that might work so I started with the most rammiest coal I could find and after I dipped the hammerhead in it did start to fizz, which were a positive sign. Then I went on to white vinegar. Everybody seems to recommend white vinegar or distilled vinegar. And with that, I thought I'd try normal vinegar. I got that idea off uh, another YouTuber, Sparky415. I'll pop a link in the description. And then I went on to lemon juice. It was a chap who messaged me through Instagram with this idea. It is one of the more expensive options at 85p a bottle. And this idea with the drain cleaner come way back. Uh, somebody commented when I was doing a different project, so I thought I'd give that a whirl. So there they all are, laid out, working their magic. Right, so what I'm going to do with them, I'm going to come back in the morning before I go to work, which will be about, should be a major of about 12 hours, uh, just to see if I was happening. And then after 24 hours, I'm going to wipe them all off and uh, see which has been most effective. I think that's the best thing to do. But in the meantime, We'll crack on with the electrolysis. So with the electrolysis, I just found the biggest plastic tray I could find and the rustiest pickaxe. And I just used an old large spanner for the electrode. So I just about filled the tray up with tap water and then raided my missus cupboard for uh, some bicarbonate soda. I did explain to her it was in the interest of science. I did put quite a lot of that in, just to make sure we got some good connectivity. And then I put the positive cable on the electrode, or the spanner, and the negative on the pickaxe handle. And then I set my battery charger just onto trickle, and it started to bubble straight away. After about half an hour, it was already doing some weird things. So as you can see on my charger here, I've set it on the lowest possible charge and according to the gauge it's not pulling any amps. So this is a quick peek after 12 hours. The first is the drain cleaner, doesn't appear to be doing a deal or anything. Next up we've got the white vinegar, there is some bubbles forming around the hammer. The lemon juice you can't really see anything. And the normal vinegar, really plenty of bubbles around that, does seem to be doing something. 
and the cola after 12 hours has just stopped fizzling and don't appear to be doing anything as for the electrolysis uh, you can barely see the pickaxe handle because the water's gone all dark and there's lots of foam on the top it not look bad for 12 hours okie dokie then it's been 24 hours since i set all this up uh, the electrolysis is still cooking away it's still bubbling i can't see much i've no with anything else so we'll go to all that and have a look so i thought i'd put some gloves on for this i just get everything a quick wire brush the drain cleaner after 24 hours didn't really do anything So next on the list was the normal vinegar. Again, get it a quick wire brush. And to be honest, I was quite impressed with this after 24 hours. You could really see the line where it had cut into the rust. So next we've got the lemon juice. Now this was the most surprising of all, it come up really well. There is some black lines on the claw, but I think that's where it's been hardened in the past. But you can see the line where it's cut into the rust quite easily. So then onto the white vinegar it's pretty much the same as normal vinegar uh, in my opinion there's no difference still pretty impressive and then onto the cheap roller cola uh, don't bother didn't touch it So all that's left is the pickaxe. Uh, I checked my clamps on my battery charger and the rust had literally stuck to all the clamps. So I did the same with the pickaxe as with everything else, get it a quick wire brush. And the area that was still stuck out of the water you could still see the rust but the rest of it was rust free but it was that badly pitted i think it's one of them cases where you're gonna have to use something abrasive to get it looking pristine although it did leave it a nice dark color so then i wanted to check my electrode or my large spanner and it was absolutely caked in rust so it just goes to prove electrolysis does work. So there we have it. It's any sort of vinegar, pretty much anything with some sort of acid content because I was surprised by the lemon juice. That did just as well as the vinegar. Don't bother with cola or drain cleaner. I come with that idea. One thing I did forget to try is my mate brews, brews his own wine. I bet that had ripped this stuff off without a doubt. If you're going to use electrolysis, uh, I'd wear gloves because it, it does give off uh, an ammonia type smell. I won't fancy putting my hands in that to be honest. So, negative lead to the piece you want to remove the rust from positive lead to your electrode wherever you want to use i wouldn't use stainless steel or zinc plated because you're just adding to chemicals uh, and remember it's hydrogen that it gives off so it is flammable so if you enjoyed that one and uh, if you did don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you next time bye for now